Once upon a time, not too long ago, texts between Android and iPhone users felt practically archaic. But finally, after years of begging, Apple decided to add RCS support in iOS 18, and at last, everyone could message each other happily ever after. Well, as long as you don't mind still having green bubbles on iMessage when an Android user texts you. But if you're willing to put pettiness aside, the addition of RCS or rich communication services on iPhones has been a game changer. Android phones have had this messaging protocol for years, and at last, iPhone and Android users can both see red receipts and typing indicators and send high resolution photos and videos. Let me show you how to enable it on your iPhone. This is All Things Mobile. To turn on RCS on the iPhone, first make sure you're running iOS 18 or later if you're from the future. Then go into Settings, click on Apps at the bottom, and then scroll down to Messages. Then from here, you want to go down to where it says Text Messaging and tap RCS Messaging. Make sure that toggle is on here. This should be on by default, but you can make sure that's the case or you can turn it off if for some reason you don't want RCS enabled. With RCS on the iPhone, you can use iMessage as usual, and then you should see those more modern features like typing indicators and high resolution media, you know, the way texting should be. You'll just have to deal with the fact that Android bubbles are still green, but you can't have it all. Most US carriers like Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile support RCS on iPhones running iOS 18, but if you wanna check carrier support, especially if you're outside the US, you'll go back into your phone settings, then tap general and about, and then scroll down to your carrier down here. When you tap that, it'll change to say IMS status. And if it supports RCS, it'll say voice, SMS, and RCS. If it doesn't support RCS, you won't see that listed there. Now there is an important caveat. RCS texts between iPhones and Android phones are not end-to-end -end encrypted, at least not yet. That's why the FBI has urged Americans to opt for platforms with end-to-end -end encryption, especially after Chinese hackers breached several US telecom companies last year, gaining access to users' as cell phone activity. End-to-end -end encryption can protect your privacy because even if hackers access your messages, they won't be able to read them. That's why platforms like WhatsApp and Signal can be an enticing option because they offer that protection. Right now, iMessage only offers end-to-end -end encryption for messages sent between Apple devices, but there is good news. Apple recently said it plans to add encryption to RCS messages too. It's not exactly clear when this will happen, but it should arrive in upcoming versions of iOS, iPadOS, macOS, and watchOS. Apple's big news comes alongside an update from the GSMA, which promotes standards across mobile tech. In March, the GSMA shared new specifications for RCS, which include that coveted end-to-end -end encryption. So it should only be a matter of time before text sent from any phone get that higher level of security, among all the other long overdue perks. And that brings us to the end of our tale. It's been a long journey and we still have a ways to go, but RCS has surely helped relieve messaging woes. Do let me know if you've enjoyed RCS on the iPhone down below, and I thank you for watching this show. Mm -hmm.